27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. At the start of this prayer, I place myself before Lord's gaze, full of goodness and mercy. With confidence, I entrust all my burdens and worries to Him. Lord says to us today, I have chosen you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, says the Lord. Lord, thank you for all that I have and all that I possess. You have given to me, to you Lord, I return it. Take Lord and receive all that I am and all that I have. Just give me the grace to discern and use the gifts you give me personally so that I may bear much fruit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, verses 33 to 43. At that time, Jesus said to the chief priests, and elders of the people, listen to this parable. A man was the owner of a vineyard. He planted a vineyard, fenced it in, dug a wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he rented out the vineyard to wine dressers and set off on a journey. When the time came to harvest, he sent his servants to the wine dressers to collect the produce from his vineyard. But the wine dressers seized the servants, bet one, killed another, and stoned the third to death. Again, the owner sent other servants, more numerous than the first, but they were treated in the same way. Finally, he sent them his son, saying to himself, They will respect my son. But when the wine dressers saw his son, they said to each other, Here comes the heir. Let's kill him and we'll have his inheritance. Well, when the Lord of the vineyard comes, what will he do to these wine dressers? They replied, He will destroy those wretches miserably. He will lease the vineyard to other wine dressers who will give him the produce in due course. Jesus said to them, Have you heard read in the scriptures? The stone which the wilderness rejected has become the cornerstones. This is the Lord's work, the wonder before your eyes. So I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation that will make it bear fruit. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection A message to be responsible fruitful in our life. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks in parables about the responsibility and bearing fruits with the gifts and talents received freely from God. The passage ends with a warning from Jesus to all of us. The Kingdom of God will be taken away from them and given to a nation that will make it bear fruit. We remind ourselves that in the parable of the talents, it is a question of making more money given by the master. In other words, to bear much fruits. 
In this parable, the workers called to his vineyard have the responsibility of making the kingdom grow without taking the fruits for themselves. The fault of the wine dressers is that they forget that they are paid for their work. They forget that the vineyard and its harvest and do not belong to them. In this way, Jesus reminds to conduct ourselves as a good and faithful servant in whatever we have and whatever we do. Therefore, I ask myself these three questions. What does being a good and faithful servant mean for me today? How can I contribute better to God's work through my life and my work? What fruit can I give back to God from what I have received freely from Him? I ponder and reflect about these three questions for a moment. God gives us everything for free life time gifts land relationships faith itself this powerful parable is a wake up call for us what is asked of us is just our responsibility and faithfulness to his call to work in his vineyard it is not to act like owners but as workers as servants who are lucky to have been chosen for the mission of loving serving and bearing much fruits in life today how can i be a better just and faithful laborer a servant in god's vineyard and the acts of loving giving and serving Finally, I finish my prayer with Our Father. 